Hello, welcome to a new tutorial of Aqua Computable in the enmodmymachine.com. Today we are showing you the first water cooling tutorial for a 4000 Airhead 70 X2 graphic card. Just finished the cooler um, from the livery last week on. So this is the first tutorial to mount this cooler on the graphic card from Aqua Computer. So right now on the tripod and uh, then we can start. As always, you need the cooler, the graphic card, some paper, um, screwdrivers, scissors, the screw supplied with the cooler and some thermal pads also delivered with the cooler. First of all we start dismounting the stock cooler, then we can go on. On this card you need to loosen some screws more than in, on other cards. First of all, here are two screws for the back plate. Here you can see them. Then all the screws on the back plate, the eight screws around the GPUs, and on the slot bracket again two screws holding the cooler. So take them off. You can also already get the fan adapter off. Now take off carefully the stock cooler. There you are. And take off all thermal pads left on the card and clean up the GPUs from the stock paste. Next, apply thermal paste, thermal to compound to the GPUs and take the thermal pads supplied, cut them into pieces for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times for the RAM, one time for the PCI Express chipset bridge, and for the face changers, one, two, three, four, and also for the voltage regulator blocks. This means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten, all on this card. So cut them into pieces. First up with the big ones, keep the rest then for the voltage regulators. I already have some, so that for you when you do it first time, cut first the big ones, then the small ones. Now it's time to put the cooler on the card. Orientation points as always the face changers. Place it carefully. And then you have it. Now take the eight M326 screws for the GPU. They are supplied with the graphic card cooler. On this card, we still use the old back plate. So, put it on. And use the other screws we supply with the graphic card cooler. This one was not needed, and this one is not needed too. One screw is missing, I will collect it right after I finished my work. But this is it. 
What a sexy looking cooler, isn't it? And take a look, if you want to place a single slot bracket, no problem, one slot only for this cooler. So this was it, yet another video tutorial from Aqua Computer Berlin, the E and ModMyMachine.com. Um, see you soon on the next tutorial here on YouTube. Um, thanks for all subscribers, thanks for all comments, thanks for all ratings. And uh, see you soon next time with Aqua Computer Berlin, the E and ModMyMachine.com.